Hi, this is Andy Doctor. Well, snow is everywhere and you might lose the power. When you lose the power, you probably will take your portable generator and try to use that to power up your furnace to keep yourself and your family warm. But many people may find out it doesn't work. Today, I am going to tell you the symptom, the regions, and the fix. Now let's be absolutely clear. This video is just for education purpose. Please don't try to hire a electrician please for your safety and the safety of your family. I definitely will not be responsible for any accidents, damage, or life associated with whatever you do. So one of the region, of course, the simplest reason that your portable generator could not run your furnace is because it's not powerful enough. Now you may say, how do I find out how much power my furnace take? There usually will be a label somewhere. For mine, the label is sitting out there inside where my finger point to. Uh, you couldn't see in the video. It tells you that it will take 12 amps at maximum, which will translate to about 1500 watts of electricity for 220 volts system. But I need to tell you, if you use a 1500 watt system, it's not going to run. I tried it before, it takes at least 2000, in fact I used a 3000 one. It's a backup power, an inverter associated with a battery pack, but the portable generator will be the same. So. You need to give me some buffer zone. Anyway, even when your portable generator is powerful enough, unless your furnace is really old, it still doesn't run. So let me show you how it looks like. And I will tell you why that is the case. And then I will tell you the fix. Okay. I am going to turn on my furnace. I can control my thermal step using my phone actually. So I am going to do that. It will take a few seconds before the induction motor kick in and it will run from that. But it will only run for a little bit. So you see the induction motor comes in. The igniter will be on really soon. You can see the window here. See, yep, it becomes red color now. I'm pretty sure you can see it now. Really soon, the gas will be ignited. See that? It get ignited. And it will be on for maybe 10 15 seconds. The induction motor will be on. Not the induction motor, I'm sorry. I have the blower motor. Supposedly, it will blow out all the hot air. But it will stop within a few seconds from that. We'll see, okay? I already tell you the same time, but we'll see. Okay, the power motor comes on. As you can see, the gas turned off. The power motor will continue to run for a little bit longer because the furnace need to cool down the heat exchanger. Otherwise, it will crack and you are in a bigger trouble, I guess. But. You see, it doesn't burn anymore, and of course, you don't have any hot air comes out. So you probably wonder why this is the case. No, it's not because the backup power is not powerful enough. It's simply because one thing. It's a safety feature of most modern furnace. Um, a furnace will have a frame sensor to make sure that it is actually burning. I know you can see it with your eye, right? But the machine need to know it. The frame sensor need to detect that. In order for the frame sensor to work, it need a signal saying that the ground and the neutral wire are connected with each other. So this is a socket. You have a ground and this is the neutral. The high is the smallest one. These two need to be 
connected somewhere. You may say, what? Are they connected? Yes, right before your main electrical panel. They are physically connected. We call them bonding. So your neutral and your ground are bonding for your public electricity. However, most portable generators or most inverter, these two are not connected. They are called floating neutral or open neutral. Because of that, the furnace will not work. And we don't need to get into the scientific detail why it want them to be bonded to work. But that is the reason. How to fix it? Well, simple. If you really want your portable generator or your backup power to run your furnace, you must connect them. Uh, I actually use this plug to make it work. See, it's not connected to anything. There's no wire connected to it. But if you take the three screws out, these two wires are actually connected with a jumper wire. I will show you a picture of what's inside back, in back into this video. Okay, so that would be the fix. However, that's not all. If you actually connect these two and call it a day, yes, your furnace will run, but it is dangerous just in case electricity leak to your the outside of your furnace, your ground, and you could get killed. So that's not a very good idea. Of course, you may ask, how about my city power? Are they the same? No. You have a breaker in your main panel, remember? That is to prevent this type of situation. So you may say, okay, I know how to do that. I want to put a breaker for my portable generator. Well, you could do that, but there is an even better one, which is use a GFCI socket, okay? So make sure that you have a GFCI socket rather than a regular one connecting your portable generator with your furnace and you bump your ground and neutral then your furnace will run with your portable generator. Uh, I will show you a picture of the GFCI on my inverter and show you my inverter. Also show you when my socket is connected to my uh, inverter. I'm not going to show you when it is running because you know how it looks like anyhow. Anyway, this is the symptom. Okay, uh, the furnace will run within a few seconds. Well, the furnace will run after the blower motor kicking, but will shut down within a few seconds. If that happens, you should know that you have a over neutral, okay? And the reason is the frame sensor need a bonding neutral. And the fix is you create a bonding neutral yourself, but please don't just do it that way. You also please make sure you have a GFCI to protect you and your family. So this is what I am going to tell you for today. Hopefully you learned something useful from this video. But again, you do it if you want to do it. You do it at your own risk. A uh, higher electrician would be a much better idea to do that. Uh, but anyhow, if you think this video is helpful for you, please make sure you like and subscribe. And please stay safe and stay warm. And I will see you in a, another video in the near future. Bye-bye.